Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today we are going to do another little side-by-side -side comparison, this time between Bimunimus, Blacksmithing Coal, and Hardwood Lump Charcoal. So as you can take and see, lighting is fairly quick and easy in both cases, so they do compare very nicely like that. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but the one thing that you uh, that you'll notice as the fire gets going here they obviously put off two very different flames uh, you know as would be expected one thing that charcoal has going for it is it has a you know there's no clinkers really there's just ash that you have to contend with as where with bimutimus as it burns down you'll get quite a bit of clinkers in it and then the other thing that you have to contend with with charcoal versus, uh, you know, Bimutimus, is that the fact that the charcoal has a lot of those little fire fleas that burn off of there quite violently, and that will uh, take a little getting used to if you're not used to getting burned regularly. Uh, now, the coal, not so much. Occasionally, you'll have an ember pop out or something like that. The other downside to using charcoal versus the Bimutimus coal is charcoal just doesn't last as long. So if you need to get up to forge welding temperatures, be prepared to spend quite a bit of money with charcoal uh, to get there and keep it there for a day of welding. That's where having a little small stash, even if it's an expensive stash of bimunimus for those type of jobs, uh, could be very handy uh, for you, depending on what side of the country you're on. But that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. <coughs> and like I always say, God bless you. And we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.